वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन द चैनल मैथ्स विद मुनीर आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज इट्स बीन अ वाइल दैट आई हैवन अपलोडेड एनी ऑफ माई वीडियो द रीज़न इज दैट आई वॉज बिजी इन मेकिंग सम अरेंजमेंट फॉर माई ऑनलाइन क्लासेज अलहमदिल्ला आई एम गेटिंग ऑफर नॉट ओनली फ्राम द डिफरेंट सिटीज ऑफ पाकिस्तान बट आल्सो फ्राम द फॉरन कंट्रीज फॉर ऑनलाइन कोचिंग क्लासेज तो इफ़ यू आर विजिटिंग माई चैनल ऑन डेली बेसिस यू माइट हैव नोटिस वन थिंग दैट the number of subscriber and the number of viewers are increasing daily to daily which is a very positive and great sign so for that i would really like to say thanks to all of you for keep supporting me and for keep watching my videos and inshallah soon this channel math with munir is going to be become a very great platform for all the student to learn different uh, level for different level of mathematics so the problem that we are going to solve today is again from the ratio and proportion involving the three variable and we are going to solve this question with another method so i would encourage to all of you who are watching my videos for the first time please don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon so that you would be notified every time when the new video is uploaded so you should have your copy and pen with you and note it down every single step and let's read this question with me and let's see what how we are going to solve it it says 12 glass blowers can make 12 identical vases in 9 minutes assuming that all the glass blower all the glass blower work at a same rate how long it will take 8 glass blowers to make 32 such vases so if you if you have noticed something in this question that then you will realize over here we are again having the three variable and i have given a slight concept in my previous video how we are going to tackle with these kind of a questions when we are having the three variable okay what are the three variables that we are having over here glass blower is basically your the first variable and then we are having vases is as a second variable and then we are having time as a third variable so what i am going to do now i am going to write all these variables over here g dot b means that it's glass blower then we have number of vases that is your second variable and then we have time as a third variable okay it says 12 glass blowers can make 12 identical vases in 9 minutes now assuming that all the glass blower work at a same rate what does it mean by work at a same rate it means that their charges and the and and their speed for making one glass blower is exactly exactly same so how long it will take how long it will take means that we are going to find the time so i am representing this time with okay let's represent it with t or even you can also say x whatever you feel comfortable will it will take eight glass blowers eight glass blowers to make 32 such vases so we have to find the number of time i had already given the concept how actually the direct and inverse proportion uh, work in my previous video so please don't forget if you are new to my channel please don't forget to watch all the videos in a playlist of uh, ratio and proportion so that you have a better understanding of how direct and inverse proportion actually work okay so i am going i will not explain direct and inverse proportion how it work over here but i am going to use that concept so that's why i am encouraging you to watch my previous video so 12 glass blower are making um, making 12 vases so first of all we have to find the relation between glass blower and the number of vases of course the more person we have as a glass blower the more number of person that we have in glass blower the more they are going to make a number of vases it's quite you know um it it does make sense so if we have the less glass blower so it means that they are going to uh, make less number of vases so the effect or the relation that we are having on glass blower and number of vases is basically the directly proportional because increasing glass blower increasing the number of glass blower the number of vases are going to be increased as well and decreasing glass blower dec and uh, decreasing glass blower the number of vases are going to be decreased so we just realize that the relationship between g which is glass blower and v which is your vases are directly proportional 
So by removing this directly proportional sign, you will write to kV and I have also explained in my previous video why we are introducing a scalar quantity while removing this directly proportional sign. Okay, so you will call this equation as equation 1. Okay, we just found the relation between these two. Now how about the relationship between glass blower and time? The more number of people we are going to have, the less time they will take to make a number of vases. All right. The less number of people we are having, the more time they will take uh, to make uh, uh, vases. So it means that by increasing glass blower, the time is going to be decreased. And decreasing this, the time is going to be increased. So we are having the opposite effect. Increasing this, this is going to be decreased and decreasing this, this is going to be increased. So it means that the glass blower and the times, they both are in uh, inverse proportion. So how do we write in inverse proportion? We will write G is inversely proportional to 1 over T. Okay. Now again, remove this sign directly proportional and you will introduce uh, K. Now we got one equation from here and we got second equation from over here. The beauty of mathematics is that you can solve one question into multiple into multiple ways. I have uploaded a previous video related to the same ratio and proportion problem involving three variables with the different method. So if you people feel uncomfortable about that method, you can solve this example with the, exactly with that method. And if you people think that this method is more understandable and it makes some more sense to you, then you can solve all those questions like that. For me personally, I would encourage you to solve questions with this method because it, it is more easier for you to understand it. Okay, now equation 1 and equation 2, what we are going to do, we are going to combine these two equations to make uh, one equation. So once we combine these two equations, we will get g is equals to kv over t. Okay, now what next? we are going to use the first condition that we have in order to get the value of k or here we are having the four variables g k v and t so obviously if we could able to figure it out the value of k then we will use this condition and we can get the required time now it says from the first condition 12 glass blowers making 12 vases in 9 minutes Okay, so from here we are going to get the value of k. Okay. So we know that 12 can 12 both can cancel from because they are on the opposite side of the equation having this uh, having one denominator. So we will cancel 12 with 12 and this 9 will come over here. So the value of k is going to be 9. Now we are going to plug in this value of k into into this equation. So it would be g is equals to 9 v over t g is equals to 9 v over t so now it's quite simple now you got g you got v you got g you got v you need to find t just plug in, in this equation and you can solve all um, and you can solve it very easily so i'm going to do that now eight glass blowers are making 32 vases how much time it took them okay eight the time will come over here so nine multiplied by 32 over eight so eight times four makes 32 and nine times four make it 36 minute so we got that it took 36 minute for eight glass uh, for eight glass blur to make 32 vases so i hope that this this video helped you in different ways in understanding the concept of ratio and proportion and how direct and inverse proportion actually work and you have also know how to solve three variable question into, into uh, different method as well. In my previous video I have used another method and now I am using the another method. So whatever suits you, you can follow it. So please don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video as much as you can so that it could reach to maximum maximum student and it might help many.